opening video to our new channel. <laughs> Books. Hey, so I'm Meg. And I'm Bean. And we're good. This is Bean in Books. So Bean challenged me and himself to read 50 books in 52 weeks, which is a year for those of you who aren't good at math. Um, so we just finished our first book, which was The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Um, this book was pretty good. It was about like a dystopian society where the women are all put in like these different niche like things. They have wives, Marthas, and then they have these women called the handmaids who are always in red. And basically they're sex slaves to the men who are called commanders, but women are supposedly protected in their society. And it's a very powerful book. It talks about like different themes of rape culture, like what freedom is, what we should be looking at in a society. And I thought it was pretty great. What did you think, Ben? I thought it was really, uh, really good. One of the more interesting parts of the book was um, just the way Margaret Atwood seemed to kind of like, this book is not written yesterday. It's it's an older book, but it feels like she's just like, kind of like just, oh, just casual conversation, casual conversation with uh, the reader. Cause she talks about some of the events that's happened in her past, but she relates them so well to things that are happening now and things that happen, like uh, experiences that people go through. One of the examples um, I'll give is, she describes the main character herself as like creeping into the kitchen when she hears people talking crap about her. And she's like, it's that little bit of satisfaction that you know that they feel guilty about feeling bad, but you know that they also don't feel bad. So it's kind of like one of those little moments where she feels like a real person and it feels like wow like I can totally relate yeah. yeah I definitely thought that the main character whose name is Offred is very relatable and very like fun to read about but the writing itself is a little dry sometimes and it's a little confusing the way the story is told but I find that fascinating and I think it's really fun to read a story and like discover the story and the society as the story goes on. Yeah, it was kind of like, the more, it's, the way the book started, it didn't start off like in chronological order and it sort of goes back and fills in the history as you go, which I think is really interesting. And it makes it for more, or it makes it more exciting, I think. Yeah, it's and like we read this book for our AP literature class um, so I had really low expectations going in, and I think like that made me like the book more. Um, but I think anyone should read this book, I think everyone should read this book, but it's definitely not for a younger audience because it's a little vulgar, and yeah. it's, a, it's a little uh, risque, but it's definitely a fantastic read. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. So we are seniors in high school. Um, we live in the United States. America. <laughs> um, My favorite color is pink. My favorite color is purple. Books. We're gonna challenge you. You should also start the, the 50 day challenge. That would be sweet, or 50 books in a year challenge. Because. Yeah. And then you guys can comment on our videos. Let us know how your challenge is going, what books you've read, what book you're currently reading. Um, tell us about like what kind of reader you are because, you know, we're all different kinds of readers. Some of us are barely readers. That's why I'm doing the 50 day challenge. Or 50, I keep calling it the 50 day challenge. The 50 books a year challenge. Yeah. To hopefully read more books. Yep, so... Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then don't drop a dislike. But uh, subscribe. You gotta ask question of the day. Question of the day. Um, what is your favorite book that you've read in the last month? If you ever read a book in the last month, then favorite article, favorite story, favorite poem, anything that you've read that was interesting that you liked in the last month. Okay. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all in our next video. Books! Books.